All right, everybody, this is, uh, this is what I've been working on for the past couple of weeks. Um, trying to work out a lot of kinks and pretty much do a crap load of debugging. Um, so I have the Haltech uh, keypad, um, Haltech ECU, uh, some CAN hubs that I built, the Morris Tech 30 channel PDM, some breakers, another CAN hub, the CD7 dash. Uh, mounted in a wood little enclosure, and then this uh, rat's nest of wires is um, uh, stuff for my tailgate. Um, so when I turn it on, the dash boots up, and it shows a splash screen, and then it shows the main page. Um, so uh, I'll start with kind of the basics here. So this is what's on my main page, um, just... I don't know, common stuff that I guess you'd, you'd probably want to see. Um, and then uh, keypad lights up, and then, uh, yeah, uh, dash shows its thing. All the values are unpopulated because there's no can data yet. Um, but here's kind of the, the scoop. So this is left turn, right turn. Uh, this is headlight on, so uh, kind of one click forward on most cars. And then this is reverse. So when you do left turn, there is a icon that shows up there that's that's showing you turn and left and then the LED that is on my tailgate uh, shows that it's uh, you know amber and turn and left and I only have one of the LEDs set up um, to demo to just kind of work out all the bugs um, and then on the can keypad the indicator is flashing and then when I do right that's flashing and then I get the little right thing on there and then when I click the this button here that's dim, the dash will go dim and it'll show a little icon saying the headlight's on. And then this is reverse, so when I click reverse, it's a joke there, and then this shows that the tailgate's in reverse. And then uh, this button here is hazards, so when I click that, the hazards start flashing, and then the hazard light uh, on the back of the car flashes, and then I de-click that, and once it extinguishes, the code has stopped running. Um, and then I will go to the next page, and this page is actually the PDM status page. It shows the current temperature of the PDM, the global amps, uh, current in, in voltage, and then each one of those lines... Um, shows what channel's running and right now there's only two channels on channel 9 and then channel 30 channel 30 is the is the power for that switch so it's kinda wasted um, and then the channel 9 what it shows is uh, the current amount of amps being used which in this case it's 0.4 and then it's 6% if you can kinda see that it's 6% of that and then that bar graph just shows you know from 0 to 100 just for you know added because I can um, and at that point uh, the next page here when I click that changes pages and it goes to this screen which is kind of a all-inclusive status page that shows all of those values and then this is what it looks like laid out uh, you got EGT 1 through 4 and that's the little graph and it's going to be sliding at I think 60 seconds and then the radiator in and out that's another graph and then the intercooler in and out that's another graph and then when I click the page up again it goes back to the main page um, this button here uh, let me actually show you this so uh, this button here I just have wired on to turn on and off a channel and that's channel one just to just to double check what that looks like um, and then there's another button on the keypad and I was going through some of the uh, Haltech stickers and one of them made me crack up so is the flux capacitor one which pff, obviously pretty fitting so when I click this button right here this starts my light show and I'll show you what it does so I click that and it starts doing my flashing and each time it goes through a light show sequence uh, the text changes on the key uh, on the dash um, and I wanted to have a visual representation of what light show sequence it is and I do that with can messaging um, there's about 
I don't know, I think there's about 18 different sequences, and when you run them, you can change the the C code that's running on this little micro microcontroller, um, and I just have labels on it on what, what it's actually doing, but the idea is that when you stack all the different light show sequences together, it takes about, I don't know, three or four minutes to pretty much cycle through them all. Um, and then when I... So the green button here shows that the light show is running, and then the red button says that, or the red indicator says that uh, it hasn't effectively stopped yet. So when I click this, it'll still be red, and the light show is still running. And we'll wait that to wait for that to finish here. And there's an index there that says eight, which is light show sequence eight, and then it's still running. Uh, I'll take a couple seconds for it to kind of finish up, but once it does, that index will turn to zero, and the um, sequence should finish, and it looks like there's some, some code I have to slightly debug with, um, but see it went to zero, and then boom, back at the main page. So that is kind of it. Um, lots of crap going on in the background to make it all work, lots of C code to try to debug, and obviously in that, that last little demo thing that I, I showed you, uh, it it uh, it started another light show sequence when uh, really it wasn't supposed to, um, and that's because this little device is getting crap loads of CAN messages, and it just happened to miss one, um, and then it got it on the next go around. Um, but other than that, the most of the, most of the CAN stuff is mostly kind of dialed in. I'll still have to do a couple tweaks here and there, but I would say it's like 98% done. Um, yeah, and that's it. So lots of spaghetti making it all work, but uh, yeah, I spent uh, quite a bit of time designing that dash, um, the dash layouts, playing with the software, learning how to use it, stuff like that. But um, anyway, if you got any questions, uh, don't hesitate to throw me a message. Thanks.